I don't want to think I want to shoot against a metal plate and not know where that bullet's going to go. And I mean that more for my safety. The worst thing that these guys can do is to stay put because eventually we're going to go from door to door searching for them. See, if I was a law enforcement officer at this point in time, thinking that these guys are going to have to get away because we already got them pinned down, probably just shoot their horses. I know right now PJ's probably saying, what the heck did you just say? <laughs> Hey everybody, Chris the Cop, welcome back. I'm here in Gameology Studios where we're taking a look at what it's like to be a robber in Red Dead Redemption 2. The bad part about the 1800s is that you could actually enter a bank with a gun. Today, not so much. Oh, I do take that back. We do have some states that uh, have open carry, so yeah, that has to be quite interesting. Stole what this country could have been. Well, we see in the 1800s, uh, they're still upset with the way this country could have been. I couldn't imagine a bank robbery where I tried to get away on the horse. <laughs> I think it's, there's pros and cons to doing a bank robbery during this era because yes, you're gonna get away on a horse, you're gonna go in a certain direction, but there's only so much of, at this point in time, of development. There's gonna be areas where it is open terrain. So if you think about it today, if you do a bank robbery, you could disappear in any metropolitan area, jump on the freeway and you're gone unless the cops are right on you. So it's kind of a give and take on easier or easier to get away with because you just need someone following you and you're pretty much done. Let's overwhelm everybody. Pretty much still the tactic today. Obviously, they're all practicing their social distancing and wearing their masks. So we got to appreciate the fact that they were innovators. They were ready for COVID-19. The good part about this time, no bank alarms. So unless someone saw this crew walk in, no one's calling the police. Now, if I don't know if that was part of the game where you had to shoot actually at the safe, but I don't want to think I want to shoot against a metal plate and not know where that bullet's going to go. And I mean that more for my safety. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's a little gameplay making you enter the code. I wonder how easy this is to play. I haven't gotten to this part. I'm actually playing Red Redemption 2 myself. I haven't gotten to this yet, so I'm actually getting a cool preview. That's it? That's all the money is there? Okay, well, not a whole lot of money there, but looks like they're probably taking some maybe bonds back then. There has to be a reason why they would do this robbery here. Uh-oh, the cops are here. Gotta love the graphics of this Get game. Get out here! Now what's going to be interesting to see is the police reaction to this. Yeah, I guess they finally took that uh, away from us where we could hold someone by gunpoint and demand everyone to come out. <laughs> you got to love Red Redemption though. I love the fact that with a wheel spin, you have like five different weapons available to you. Like, yeah, I'm like, I got my shotgun, I have my rifle. Now what would be neat is if you actually had all that stuff on you, that would actually be kind of cool where you actually see it. I'm gonna go with the rifle as well. Rifle or shotgun, but rifle would be perfect in this scenario. Get that long shot, take out the cops from the vantage point. See, if I was a law enforcement officer at this point in time, thinking that these guys are gonna have to get away because we already got them pinned down, probably just shoot their horses. I know right now PJ's probably saying, what the heck did you just say? <laughs> Where are they all coming from? <laughs> right? Depending on what town this was, there's was probably maybe half a dozen cops. <laughs> Trying to think about how the 1800s and how towns were set up, it probably is a good way to get away considering everything's gonna be all at about the same level. You probably could hop from roof to roof, but then again, like we're here, we already have some good guys that have taken to the high ground as well. But yeah, you probably could get away using that high ground like that. At very minimum, use the high ground to take out the good guys. It's always good to have that high ground. Now, there can't be any more good guys, man. I think these guys just killed every good guy there was. Now we're gonna do a little roof hopping. Whoa! Oh, then he's done. Though I'm not the best game player, I have to give it to the games that make you do all these little things in between each mission or, or case. Like this, you gotta jump from roof to roof. You had to have a gunfight. Kind of reminds me of Alley Noir, where you had a foot pursuit, you had a, a gunfight, sometimes you have a car pursuit, and you had to get by through all of that just to get the case solved. Because it, it does give a lot to the gameplay to be able to do all these little things. I'm sure there's some gamers that just they just want to get to the game done, but all these little things definitely add to the gameplay as well as the character development. So I, I definitely appreciate what Red Redemption is doing here. All right, so I'm going to say something here that's probably going to like cause every police officer that would ever watch this video to go crazy. But the suspects are being smart here because they're moving and they're continually moving. What police are going to be trying to do is they're going to try to surround them and get more police there. Maybe do a uh, posse comitatus and deputize some civilians with guns to help them go after these guys since they just committed a bank robbery. The worst thing that these guys can do is to stay put. 
put. Because eventually, we're going to go from door to door searching for them. Especially in this type of scenario where we have a bank robbery. So them moving like they did was good. Now obviously they're planning their next tactic here because they got to find a vantage point to get out of this building undetected by law enforcement as well as the general public. So quite interesting tactic there. See, there we are. Let's go. Cover of night. If you want to go undetected, you may want to walk normal. Walking in the crouch position kind of gives it away that you might be the bad people we're looking for. It's funny as I've actually had people act normal. There are YouTube videos out there where you watch a pursuit and when the suspect bails out, he or she runs into a crowd of people and they just start acting normal. That's one of the best tactics ever. I'm sure Brett's, again, a bunch of cops are saying, why are you telling them this stuff? Hey, uh, cops that are watching this, everything we do, it can be found on YouTube. See, I don't know if you want to take anybody out right now. You want to get on that train and get undetected. Yeah, see, that's exactly what you'd want to do. I just love these type of games. These games are so awesome. Just given the fact of how they capture the history, the look, and then what's going on with the game. I don't know what the overall plan here is, but if it's just to get on a train and get someplace to hiding, perfect plan as long as no one's going to inspect that train prior to it leaving. Yeah, see, law enforcement searching, so they're going to start searching, yeah. I already checked the train. Oh, they're going to make him check again? <laughs> I like that. No, we're not, we're not going to check anymore because we already checked once. I talked about it a little bit earlier before. Our suspects are continually moving, which is a good tactic. They should not stay bedded down. If they want to get away, the best chances for them to get away is to get as far away from the crime scene as possible, go undetected. There is a point in time where you don't want to get bogged down with more cops responding so their act of blowing the back wall and getting out and staying on the move is pretty good because they're going to stay on the move and keep moving to a point where law enforcement is either going to keep searching or they're going to eventually call off the search there's only so long we can search for this is a bank robbery so we're going to search for a longer period of time but at eventual point in time if you can go undetected the search is going to eventually end we can't stay on this search forever so it's a good strategy that they kept moving and eventually they waited for nightfall and then we see the typical nightfall type of activity where we're going to crouch down and we're going to hunker down and hide in the shadows does that stuff really happen actually it does really happen because we've had bad guys that have broken our perimeters and then we're getting ready to leave and all of a sudden people start calling us saying somebody's in their backyard, somebody's in the garage, someone's on the side of the building, their dogs are barking. And we're like, oh shoot, this is where the person's at. So that type of stuff really does happen. Now it looks like we are in a harbor type of area. So they have a train option, they have a boat option. I'm sure at this point in time, given it's nighttime, probably the roadways going into the town are probably already saturated with watchers on the roadways to see what kind of foot traffic is gonna come out of that. That's a lot of lawmen for a small town oh then again it could be a large metropolitan city and the problem is is that if they shoot one gunshot's going to alert more cops and now they're really kind of screwed because they're stuck between the buildings and a harbor so no real place for them to run that looks like they made it i'm sure it was a lot easier to get away from the law during this time than it is today Here's the funny part is when you play a game, even when as a cop, you know, when I play games and I'm playing the bad guy, the good guy in me is like saying, ah, they need to be caught. But then <laughs> you want to get away because you're the bad guy. So it is quite a dichotomy to uh, be a good guy playing a bad guy in these video games. So if you want to know how to rob a bank in the 1800s, Red Dead Redemption 2 is where you need to be. If you want to watch my gameplay, come join me on my channel, Chris the Cop, as Twitch as well. And if you like what you saw today, hit on over to Gameology, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell icon for instant notifications. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris the Cop saying, peace, Red Dead. <gasps> Red Dead Redemption. You know what, last time I said a game wrong? Oh my God, the hate mail we got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close. Right? I just broke out of a freaking sweat. <laughs> Dang you, Gameology. <laughs>